all right back with this thing so now let's talk about what happens how is the selection process going to work once the stem cell comes in once it is inside the thymus the cell will be called thymocyte so thymocyte is not different from stem cell the only thing is the thymocyte as it goes through the process here it will be maturing and will be getting selected so thymocyte is slightly different from a stem cell in this terms that as it traverses the thymus as it moves along in the thymus it will be matured up and it will be selected to do the good work okay thymocyte stem cell entered the thymus became thymocyte zone 1 here this thymocyte remember this is a stem cell I'm calling it thymocyte first characteristic this thymocyte is double negative double double negative what does that mean the T lymphocytes are primarily of two types CD4 helper T cells which have further subclassifications but they are CD4 types and CD8 cytotoxic T cells again in my previous T cell lectures go back and see this but what does that mean is that if I make the T cell here two T cells the helper T cell will have CD3 actually all lymphocytes have CD3 CD3 plus it would have CD4 CD4 I remember it by I am here for helping so 4 is for help and CD8 is cytotoxic you know I remember it from 8 you know like eating something I ate the other cell so this this one is actually cytotoxic so these are these are the funny T cells cluster of designation 4 and 8 in the beginning when a thymocyte comes here now for my purpose of teaching I'm going to remove the nucleus and make it a little bit smaller just so that I can teach this now cell is double positive that means it has CD4 and CD8 both inside the cytoplasm these are not present on the surface yet but these are inside the cytoplasm it also has CD3 this cell does not have it does not have a T cell receptor yet T cells also have a receptor on their surface that receptor is called a T cell TCR T cell receptor both of them have it CD8 and CD Four, they both have a T cell receptor on them this cell does not have a T cell receptor yet it has CD3 CD4 CD8 all of them inside the cytoplasm nothing on the surface so that is why it is double negative what does double negative mean both the things CD4 and CD8 are absent on the surface double CD4 and CD8 two negative absent okay from zone 1 this cell moves to zone 2 and if you look at my lecture which I talked about the journey of a T cell through the body in that I talk about the chemical molecules which help the cell move from areas to areas so it moves from zone 1 to zone 2 when it reaches zone 2 again I'm making a small nucleus on purpose just to show you the other things in here when it reaches zone 2 I it is called double negative 2 cell so here double negative 1 so zone 1 double negative 1 zone 2 zone, double negative 2 zone 3 will be double negative 3 so I just remember it that way double negative 2 what does that mean it is still double negative that is CD4 is still inside CD8 is inside CD3 is inside nothing on the surface but this cell is different from this one do you know how this cell is different this cell is different because number one it has started the process of making T cell receptors number two this cell has said I will only be a T cell and nothing else that means it has committed itself to become a T cell why can it become something else yes the stem cell when it comes in here can still become a natural killer cell or a B cell 
it is a stem cell it has potential to become nk or b cell so when it goes from zone 1 to zone 2 by that time it has made up its mind and it said okay you know what i will be a t cell good so double negative 2 so nothing on the surface yet cd4 cd8 cd3 preparing to start making the t cell receptors okay now we come to the zone 3 zone 3 again double negative so that means cd4 cd8 CD3 are still inside, but this cell has started making the beta chains for its T cell receptor. So T cell receptor has started becoming formed. The T cell receptor is being manufactured now. Good? So now we've gotten double negative 1, double negative 2, double negative 3, nothing on the surface, but T cell receptor is being formed now good from here we will go to the zone 4 inside the zone 4 again I'm making a small nucleus on purpose CD4 CD8 CD3 T cell receptor all of these this is very important all of these will start going to the surface of the cell it was holding stuff in its pockets. These were in its cytoplasm. Now it is going to put them on its head. Here is my CD4. Here is my CD8. Here is my T cell receptor. Here is my CD3. So what would happen is, I'm going to make a slightly different cell here. I'm going to just not make nucleus anymore. So now this cell has CD4. This cell has CD8. This cell also has a T cell receptor on its surface and it also has CD3. Now, if you have read it before, you might know that the T cells either show a CD4 or CD8. Here, it is showing both CD4 and CD8. 